I'm Dr. Benjamin Fergus with Cornerstone Health in downtown Evanston. I'm here with one of our patients, Dale. Dale's an avid and decorated runner. Uh, Dale, why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened with the knee, what you were doing? Well, it was running and um, running actually races faster than what I had and ended up with some injury that was to the inside of the knee and below the knee. That's right. So the way the way Dale told me this is he had signed up to run, what was it, eight races? Six races in one day. Six races in one day, which is a little 50, bit. 50 meters to 1,500 meters. It's a big variety. And so usually runners that are training for 1,500 meters, uh, their training is very different than those who are training for 500 meters. And Dale decided to run all of those races that day. And how'd you do? Uh, so five silvers and one gold. So again, very decorated runner. Uh, but one of the decorations here was some knee discomfort afterwards that hasn't seemed to resolve uh, completely. And through our testing, we've diagnosed this as something called plica syndrome. Uh, that's not too important. There's a couple movements of the knee that aren't available to Dale the way he needs for running. And we've done some exercise therapy. And today we're also gonna use some acupuncture of the knee to help to reduce the inflammation and speed up the healing time. So I'd love to show you what that acupuncture treatment looks like. So I'm gonna start with the knee bent. I use a sterile acupuncture point. And our first spot, we call these the eyes of the knee. It's a little gap on the side of the kneecap where we can actually treat the area of the meniscus and some of the ligaments on the inside of the knee. So let's place this first point. And many people have some curiosities about acupuncture, whether it's painful or non-painful and what it actually does. Uh, I'd say for the most part, patients usually feel like a tiny little pinch when the acupuncture point goes in. Sometimes you don't even feel that. And then when we get to the treatment level, there's usually a little ache in the area until after the treatment. Uh, is that similar to what you feel? I didn't feel either one of those. It doesn't feel a thing. Yet, uh, we performed this acupuncture treatment the last time we saw Dale, about five days ago. Uh, how'd that one go for you, Dale? Um, fine, the results were excellent. The improvement was um, both rapid and um, pretty quickly. That's great, that's what we like to hear. Um, sometimes, whether it's with medication or with chiropractic, physical therapy, or acupuncture, we can get a really rapid improvement. And then on some of those occasions, a very athletic patient might go out and do a little bit more than what they're ready for, which is what Dale had That's done so last week. Know. So he's feeling good. He went out for a little bit of a longer walk than what we had planned uh, for this level of the recovery. And so there's still some symptoms and some mobility we're trying to recover. Uh, that's a good spot there. Yeah, so this, felt, yeah. this one is in the quadricep muscle. It helps to control knee flexion or the knee moving forward. And in runners in particular, it's an area that's under a lot of stress. So we just want to help that uh, recover as quickly as possible. We have one final spot. This is the uh, adductor triangle. And we're going to treat this key intersection of muscles to help with mobility of the inside of the knee. Okay, in the two main forms of acupuncture, there's acupuncture where we just place the points and then we let them sit for 10 to 15 minutes. When we do that, the blood flow increases, that helps with healing times, and the muscle tension reduces. In this form of acupuncture treatment, we're going to add a small electrical current. This in amplifies those results and typically leads to a longer phase of the healing increase in blood flow. So we're going to add a small electrical current. With this electrical current, we can choose two ways to apply it. One is very mild, which helps with healing and blood flow. The other way we can apply it is to use a slightly larger current that has the muscle move, and that's helpful when we're trying to regenerate some strength. Today we're going to use a very mild form of electricity to help with the blood flow and speed up these healing times. Okay, we're going to turn this on. We're going to start with these two points in the knee. I'd like you to let me know when you first feel those. And comfortable. All right, let's add the two that are in muscles here and here. Let me know when you start to feel that. 
Okay. So in the muscles, the response is a little bit quicker. Are all these points comfortable right now? Yep. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna let Dale rest for about 15 minutes now. When I come back in, we'll remove the acupuncture points and work on a little bit of exercises that he can do at home until the next time I see him. All right, thanks Dale. Good.